again for tuning uh, back to my youtube channel so today i'll be sharing with you how i make mandarin or tangerine cheesecake so it's a simple recipe because we'll not be requiring to bake anything so let's get started So for the spring foam that we're going to be needing later, um, I'm using a 26 centimeters or 10 inches spring foam. And then we'll be, required, we'll be needing a rolling pin and a freezer bag. So I'll show you in a minute. got 1000 gram of soft cheese 155 grams of sugar and 6 grams of gelatin powder so let's get started so in the freezer bag put your biscuits inside make sure there's no air trapped inside And we're going to roll the rolling pin. There you have it. After their crush, you don't need to worry if, if all the crumbles are not perfectly small. So, in a small pot, we're going to melt our butter. So, butter is done, so make sure you heat it in low heat. We're going to pour it in our biscuits crumble. and mix that thoroughly so once everything is mixed thoroughly it's time to prepare our spring foam so we open and then with our baking paper Make sure you leave some around two centimeters out on both sides. Then we cut. So you can apply a little bit of butter on the bottom. Just to make sure the baking paper sticks well on the tin. There we have it. Then we place the cut. So you press it firmly and you lock. And then it's time to put our bis our base, our biscuit crumble, the butter. And spread it. Spread it evenly. We 
can use a glass to help press the base just to make sure it lays flat nicely evenly so once it's ready we're going to put it in the fridge while we prepare the topping So guys, it's very important to follow them, uh, the instructions on your gelatin because there are so many different kinds of gelatins. Some come in leaf form, some come in a powdered form. So it's very important to follow the instructions at the back on how to mix yours. So while our fluid is heating up in the lowest heat you have on your stove, we're going to prepare the soft cheese, so we're going to put it in a bowl. And the sugar. And then mix it thoroughly. Once it's nicely and thoroughly mixed, as you can see, it looks nice and creamy. So it's time to prepare our gelatin. So guys, our fluid is nice and hot so don't let it boil so it's just it's just allowed it's just supposed to be hot now i'm going to put my gelatin and then i'm gonna mix vigorously so you mix it thoroughly at, until everything is nicely mixed So in case I didn't mention, or for those who don't know, gelatin is a setting agent. So it's gonna help them the cream, cheese cream to stay nicely and put together. So it's not gonna run all over the cake. So once our gelatin is done, we're going to pour it. In the cream cheese mixture. nicely mixed together we're going to put it in our biscuit base so we're going to put half of it on the base and we leave half of it for the top Then we're going to place the tangerine or the mandarins nicely. So at this point they don't really have to be perfect. Just when you're arranging them later on at the top. That's when you want to put them nicely and perfect. But make sure they're nice and evenly arranged inside. So once you're done putting them nicely, start, it's time to put the next layer of the cream, of the cheese cream. Once you're done, so it's time to put our last layer of the tangerines. Now these ones you can arrange nicely. So guys, we're done. So we're going to put this in the fridge overnight or uh, at least six hours in the fridge. So you can put it at least six hours in the fridge to eight hours or overnight for 24 hours, the better. 
so we're going to see the results in the morning so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure you do so hit the not notification bell to be notified to be notified whenever i upload new recipes please like as well if you like the recipe hit the like button share with your friends and family so guys let's see how we get on in the morning so guys it's time to check what our cake is doing so mine has been in the fridge for roughly 15 hours so you open Slowly. And then with a knife, and you carefully lift the spring foam. Ta da! Beautiful. So we're going to carefully place it on our on our plate, and then we can cut the paper from the sides. So it's time to cut a piece. We start somewhere in the middle. And then you can use a knife to scoop the cake. I'm going to use this. There you have it. Let's place it on a plate. Gently. Voila. There you go. It's a little broken in the bottom. So that's not a big deal. It's nice and tasty. So it's time to taste. Mmm. Really tasty, guys. Mmm nice creamy and fruity and the biscuit base it's really nice crunchy buttery So I hope you'll make this recipe and let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn on the notification bell to be notified each time I upload new recipes. I upload new recipes each week. And if there's, if there's any recipe guys you'd like me to make, feel free to leave a comment on the comment section below and <clears throat> like my video and share it with your friends and family okay guys thank you for tuning in and enjoy your cake till next time bye